Hi guys, it's that time where I'm showing you what I got in my recent Ulta haul because I posted a photo of this bag right here and many of you said that you wanted to see a haul video so that's what we're going to do. I got all of this stuff by cashing in my Ulta rewards points. So in total, I only spent $2.60 on all of this stuff by cashing in my points and I find this to be the best rewards program of life. I'm so glad that Ulta switched theirs up in the last year because before you would cash them in for certain products based on which level you were, maybe some perfume or just little products here and there, but now you can redeem them for cash basically. like buy products in the store, prestige brands or drugstore brands, whatever you want and get those things with your rewards points. It's the best thing ever. My rewards points totaled up to $125. I, in the end, went over by $2.60. That's all I paid for out of pocket, which is amazing. <laughs> I'm first going to show you what I got as a gift, and this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Champagne. I love this and use it every day, so I wanted to get this for somebody. And the one that I actually got in this haul is already put away under the tree, so this is mine. I just wanted to visually show you what I got. I also got my Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask, and this one is $16. The tub form is $36 or $34, I think. And I like the tube because it's so much easier and less messy. I also got the Peter Thomas Roth Mega Rich Shampoo, which is my holy grail shampoo. And this is $18, and I go through it pretty fast, so I wanted to get it for free by redeeming my points. So that's that. And with that purchase, they gave me a free sample of their Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Mask, which is really nice. So the next three products are the brand new products that I'm very excited about and they're not repurchases. So, uh, no, I'm going to actually show you something else first. <laughs> this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal. I already have Moonstone and that's what I use today as my highlight and I wanted to get it in a different shade. So this is Opal. I thought about getting this or Gold, Rose Gold. And I love rose gold, so I am surprised that I didn't get it, but it's kind of because I thought that the rose gold may be a little bit too deep for me, and the glitter in it I feel like was a little bit more obvious than the, the moonstone one. Because moonstone is a gorgeous sheen that goes across your skin, and the rose gold looked a little chunky, not really sure. So this is opal, and I think it's the perfect skin tone highlighter. And I will show you Moonstone to compare. Moonstone is almost like Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. It's a little bit of an off-white. So that's the comparison. And I love Moonstone, so I'm happy to get opal. And it's beautiful when you can get it for free. I asked you guys on Instagram recently which eyeshadow palette should I get? I was recently curious about the Naked Basics palette, the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I was never really interested in it, but I don't know why I was so drawn to it in the last two weeks. I think it's because it's so simple. I can just keep it in my makeup bag. So I asked you guys, should I get that or should I get the Lorac Pro 2? And this happened. And I got both of them because I was able to by redeeming my points. If I had to pay for them, I think I only would have chosen one, probably the Lorac Pro 2. But your comments were pretty much 50-50. A lot of you said that you love your Naked Basics palette and a lot of you told me that I should go out and get the Lorac Pro 2. And this is something that I was asking about for a very long time, so it's finally like, Arissa, just go out and freaking get it already. So I'm glad that I got both. Let's just begin with the Naked Basics palette. Let's open it on this side. And I know it's a little weird because this is the original Naked Basics, which has warm shades, and then the Lorac Pro 2 has cooler tones. But I lately have been kind of going back and forth. Like I've been liking a lot of cool colors and I usually don't. And I know with my lip colors, I always like cool shades. And I don't know, I was kind of curious about maybe starting to use both and just playing around with makeup. So that's why I got these. And I also looked at the Naked Basics 2, but the reason why I chose the original is because of this black. I use a black eyeshadow all the time to line my eyes so I have to have a really pigmented black no matter what. And I'm very very excited to put this in my makeup bag. I think it will be an awesome 
go-to eyeshadow palette. So let me know if you have this and what you think of it. And then this is the one that I was really, really excited about getting and trying. I had to go to the store since I wanted to get that uh, Too Faced shadow insurance before Christmas and I missed the deadline to buy everything online which is what I usually like to do. So I went to Ulta and they didn't have the Lorac Pro 2 in store, like on their shelf. So I was so bummed. Usually it's the Lorac Pro To Go palette that's always gone and they had those but they did not have any of the Pro 2. So I was like looking around and I didn't know what to get and I almost completed my Urban Decay Naked set. I almost got Naked 2. And I never really thought to get Naked 2, but again, I've been liking a lot of cool colors recently. So I was swatching them and I actually think that the Naked 2 palette might be something that I like. I liked a lot of the shades as I was swatching them. I can't talk as I was swatching them. So I took it up to the counter and I was like, okay, I'm ready. And she was like, oh, okay, you're gonna get the uh, Naked 2. And I'm like, yeah, because I saw that you guys don't have the Lorac Pro 2. And then she pulled it out from behind the counter and it was like the angels were singing and I was very, very thrilled. But I still think I might look at getting the Naked 2 in the future because those colors I think I'm gonna be, use be able to use let me know what you think. Check these babies out. I think they're so pretty and I know this is one that everyone was like, go get it Arissa, go get it. So I finally did and I'm ecstatic. My favorite eyeshadow palette of all time now is the Lorac Pro, the original. So it's nice to get its sister. Really in the end, all I gotta say is Ulta's rewards points system is awesome and it makes me even more loyal to Ulta now that I've actually cashed in my points and I've felt the feeling, the gratification of getting all these things for free. So if you have access to both Ulta and Sephora, what I like to do personally when I shop for makeup is because of this reward system and I think how beneficial it is to buy at Ulta for this reason, and I'm not sponsored by Ulta at all, I'm just saying this because I truly believe this, I will buy things. If you can get it at Ulta, I will get it there. But if there are some brands that you can't get at Ulta, like NARS for example, I will get it at Sephora. So there are pros and cons to both because I mean, I just became Sephora VIB Rouge recently. So clearly I still shop there, but I think that it's worth getting stuff at Ulta because of this rewards point system. So good job Ulta for switching it up this year. It was such a good decision on your end and I'm very happy with my haul. And thanks again for everyone who did answer my question on Instagram about which product I should get. I was really happy that I was able to get both. Some of you were asking on Instagram how it works and if your points expire. So I believe that if you're a platinum member and I think that's when you spend $400 in a year and you become platinum, your points will not expire. But if you're not platinum, then your points will expire by the end of the year and you're gonna have to cash them out. So this may be the time to cash them out. I will also link below some more information on their website where I can find it. And if you also wanna leave some questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I also believe I have a viewer who works for Ulta because she was answering some questions on Instagram. So thank you, I appreciate your help. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again really soon. Bye.